Well, inaugural video for my disc golf content here. Casey and I are at Kit Carson. We're gonna play nine holes, edit together, hopefully get some cool shots, and we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> Number two position. It's gonna be 403 feet, so it's a pretty good rip to start out. I don't really have the arm, so I'm just gonna go with my longest flyer. Hopefully, get an easy up for three. Four. Terrible. We got a noodle arm to start. <laughs> you gotta get it out of the way, I guess. So hopefully we can still play for three, but it's gonna be a longer upshot, to say the least. It's actually not horrible distance. It's just, it just didn't look cool. Puntered out, something like that. So throw an overstable putter, like a harp. Try to like swing it, you know, like wide and let it fade in. It's not horrible. It's gonna be a tester putt for par, baby. Paul Macbeth is still better than me. All right, we are one over par. It's not too much of a surprise here. Now we're on hole two. I think it's the uh, deep position again. So it says 400 feet. So just throw my longest flyer, my destroyer. Hopefully give it a little better rip this time. You wanna keep it kind of low and go through these trees and then I'm gonna to hope to like stand it up, maybe get some flex and then fade at the end. Fairway driver here. It's like a seven speed. Maybe one should warm up before they <laughs> take it out for a whirl. That's all right. Okay. We're gonna go for the harp. Just over stable putter. All right, should be a putt. This is the second drive. Also not great, but not super shitty like my first one. Well, really bad drive, really bad second shot, and it was only a bogey, so there's that. <laughs> We're on hole three. After two, I'm two over par, so let's try something fun here. Hopefully this looks cool. I'm gonna attach these streamers to my driver. I'm already not, you know, throwing good, so. Beautiful. don't really have the arm for this hole. Apparently these first three, three holes, so they had the pigtail disc and I'm sure it didn't add any distance. Damn it. Ah! It's gonna be a long effort for par, but I think we got this one. So I don't know, this is like circle's edge. So we're at hole four. It's a long position again. It's kind of a blind corner, and then it's gonna be, the green is kind of surrounded by these cool rock feature. 
I'm gonna try to throw the hatchet here. This one's kind of new, but they're super flippy discs. I'm gonna just try to like throw it left and flat and then let it turn over hopefully for like an easy up. If we can get past kind of these this desert section without bogeying every hole, that'd be really nice. Just for my pride, mostly. Once again, I'm just trying way too hard. Really bad off the tee, but whatever. This dude, uh, Willie says at Morley, there's no bad rounds, just bad scores. It's not the best effort. Even this putt is gonna suck. I know those dudes. Alrighty, hole five, five over par. So maybe we can start playing a little better here. I think I'm gonna throw my Thunderbird. It's kind of a straightforward, like 250 foot shot, and then you just want it to fade. It's actually a pretty good drive. It's gonna be like circle's edge for birdie. So we'll see if we can finally hit a putt. Oh wow. Just floated it. We took a three. We stopped the bleeding. Now onto the park section of the course. Let's go. Yeah, it's like 150 feet. This is like the shortest hole in the course, so. Oh, I still think I'm gonna throw a mid-range. I guess I should probably be throwing a putter. It's between these discs. Understable putter, super straight mid, or my Rock 3 some stability but like most comfortable with this disc so even though it's so short creek to the left i don't think it plays ob unless you're in a tournament like the daniel bow memorial that they have here but it's still like an uphill putt then kind of tough but worst case scenario should be a par famous last words i hit the snake man <laughs> the most demoralizing experience I've ever put myself through. Woo! All right. Full seven. 265 feet. Low ceiling. Have to miss a few trees. Should go with a fairway driver. Hopefully, like, throw it this way. Let it fade to the left towards the basket. Maybe with, like, a skip. That'll work. That was pretty good. Should have a birdie putt, I think. Um, you just threw a firebird on that hole and didn't even get it there. <laughs> it's like 150 feet, bro. I have no room to talk. <laughs> Probably a circle's edge putt here for birdie. Fucking bullshit, man. <laughs> Full eight. Par three. It's not that far, it's like 240, so let's maybe we can get a birdie and have a more respectful score. 
I think I'm shooting for this right gap and then let it kind of skip in. Hmm. Uh, it was way wide, but it was okay. Should work, at least for a park. It's like the same distance putt as the last one. So good. So good. <laughs> hole nine. This is our last hole of the video. I'm gonna do the same idea. I think I'm gonna try to like just go right of this center tree. The only problem is there's a creek to the right, so I really have to trust the disc to fade back. be a long cut. It wasn't a bad shot. Like I've at least kind of dialed in, you know, like aim, I guess. I'm at least not turning the disc over. But I'm also not really getting a lot of great power at all. Work to be done. Noodled it. He noodled it. Well, that concludes nine holes. I started off bogey, 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 double bogey, par, 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 birdie, par. So I finished four over through nine, <laughs> but we had fun and I think we can get like a cool video whipped together out of this. I hope it was enjoyable. Um, if you watch to the end, just consider like sharing with your buds and uh, Hopefully I'll make more videos here soon if this one isn't too embarrassing or, or whatever. So thanks for watching.